Hey warriors. Okay, before I get up from this little session and I just did a video, I like to do them in batches. So um, I'm raw, no makeup, a little bit of lip gloss, that's it. I was getting over myself if you saw my previous video about this. Um, so anyway, I wanted to talk to you about an NLP technique called reframing. And it's really fun as I'm learning and studying to become an NLP practitioner, I can share some of these things with you that can really, I think, be good tools in recovery. And, uh, you know, the reason why we use NLP is it's so good to calm down the nervous system. And that's CFS is a neurological illness classified by the World Health Org. And that's why I found NLP to be a really useful tool. Um, one of the tools in my toolbox, okay? So anyway, this one is called Reframe. And so basically, uh, it's, you know, everything that we experience or things that we think and in our heads, we've got modalities. And when we think about stuff, they have colors to it, pictures, sounds, language, all kinds of stuff surrounding it. So if you just, right now, I just ask you to think about the most relaxing place you've ever been in, you know, and how you felt when you were there, and what were the colors that you saw? How did you feel? What was the surface underneath your feet? And what language was going on? What was the, the talk, self-talk in your head? So as you can see, you've got all these modalities attached to that experience. And that's one thing that's great about NLP is getting into those states. And I'll do that in another video about creating those states because that's relaxation, right? And you want to tap into that more often. So anyway, you can take these modalities and, and re use it to reframe something in your life that's not what you want it to be. So the first reframing I ever did in my recovery was being a warrior, a CFS warrior. And because it's really easy when we're sick to really be down on ourselves and see ourselves as, first of all, lazy because we can't get anything done because we don't understand the illness. And then we see ourselves as sick and, you know, not being able to find the answers. And we get all these negative pictures going surrounding the illness that aren't helpful. They're not the illness. They're just all of our perceptions about the illness. And so for me, finding that inner strength and courage and saying, I am not a sick person trying to get well. I am a well person trying to improve, get out of this illness, basically, is how I began to see myself. And again, as a warrior, you know, and seeing myself not a couch potato, but I am someone who is in the fight for my life. And I saw it, I began to see it as a noble cause to get my life back, to be available to my family, you know, to be able to live the life that I'd always wanted to live um, and to overcome this huge obstacle, just as so many other people had done. I'm just thinking of Helen Keller and all her sight, sound, smell, everything was taken, the sight and sound and speech. And she overcame that to do great things. And so this is our challenge in life is to overcome this. So if you can reframe your context of this illness and see yourself, so take all those modalities. What does it look like in your head right now? Is it black and white? Is it far away, you being in a bed and sick and, you know, what that looks like and any sounds or thoughts like language connected to that. Begin to shift and change that. You know, put it in a different frame. See yourself as colorful. See yourself on a movie screen main being lauded by your efforts that you do every day to overcome this illness. And so by reframing it, you gain strength and power and you begin to interpret this differently, right? And that actually supports you in your recovery. And I love attaching this to a story um, in the Bible about Gideon. And he was uh, at a wine press and an angel appeared to him. And it, he said, you know, hello, you mighty warrior to, to Gideon. And he said, you know, me, I'm the least in my household. And our family is the least in this, you know, tribe. Why are you calling me a warrior? 
And he said, because you're going to conquer the Midianites, which was their enemy at the time. And he's like, there's no way I can do this. So basically, he had to reframe. And it was interesting the angel called him a warrior when he was nothing like that. And yet, as he began to see himself in light of what the angel called him, you know, he even did things the angel told him to do at night undercover because he didn't want to get caught doing it. But as his confidence grew, he got more and more, and he ended up leading all the Israelites against the Midianites and conquering them. So your your mindset on how you see yourself in CFS is huge, whether you are a warrior, which is why I love to call you guys my CFS warriors, or you're a victim. And so play with this uh, NLP technique on reframing and just shift it around, see how it works for you. Another way that you can use this technique is on events. So for instance, like the graduation that I went to with my son, it was like, man, the weeks before it, I was stressing out. I had so much to do before. There were so many, you know, events to go to, school events and parties for other kids that we love that were graduating. And had to get some clothes that fit, you know, that kind of stuff. So I was allowing it to really stress me out. And, and I was going through my training in NLP about this at that same time. And I realized, you know what, I need to reframe this. And so I took some of those events and I and I began to notice, what are my modalities? I'm seeing myself all stressed on the day of graduation. I'm seeing that I never found the right dress. I'm seeing that, you know, everybody's going, why is it? You know, and it was just things like that. And I had to readdress that change those modalities, begin to see it in a positive light. It's kind of like positive predicting, seeing it going well. What are the colors? What are the what are people saying? Wow, this has been such a great day. We've enjoyed your party so much that we put on. Things like that. So I changed it up to make it work for me. And um, I also, in our training, there was a woman talking about she had to go in for this exams, that it was something she had to actually, you know, present and do. And she realized that, her modalities where she was seeing the teacher frowning at her and she was all stressed the day before and she hadn't slept the night before. You know, this was a whole scenario that she had created around her exams that had nothing to do with the actual reality of her exam. It was just the way she was framing it. So when you're doing this in about an event that you're going to go to or something you're going to do, notice the modalities, reframe it, and make it work for you. So that's just a little NLP technique. Hope you will try it. Let me know how it goes. And as always, remember, Warriors, life's not over. It's starting again. And I speak life, health, and wholeness over you.